गाइज यू आर वॉचिंग सिमिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी मैटलैब स्क्रिप्टिंग एज वेल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आर फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ मैटलैब स्क्रिप्टिंग सो वॉट मैटलैब स्क्रिप्टिंग इज इट जस्ट अ स्क्रिप्ट दैट कंटेन्स मैटलैब कमांड्स एंड इट एग्जीक्यूट्स द कमांड सिक्वेंशियली एंड प्रोवाइड्स यू द आउटपुट सो वेर दिस स्क्रिप्ट कैन बी यूज so the scripts can be used in simulink model also so that you can apply some changes on your models by just running a script on your model or you can use it in signal processing application and then image processing also so there are a lot of applications of matlab scripting so well see some basic applications in further tutorials but for now we are just going to see how to start with the scripting so here in current folder right click new file and select script so this matlab scripts are dot m file okay and the naming convention for these files is that you can give any name but not which are used already by the matlab like there are some functions defined in matlab which names you cannot use for naming your dot m script file okay so i'm just naming this file as new underscore one okay double click on the dot m file so you can see here the editor for this file you can type different commands so basically what i generally start CLC. with is clear all and bd close all commands so clc is a command to use the command window so it clears the command window then clear all it clears the workspace and bd close all it closes all the window like if there is some model window open in your matlab environment and if you type bd close all in the command window then it will close that window okay so i'm just changing the sequence to re enter okay so bd close all clear all and clc so today what we are going to do is we are just going to add two row vectors so how to do that so define one row vector say a and you can give some values 1 2 3 4 5 5 don't forget to give space in between two numbers and then semicolon so you can see here the it was showing error before giving the semicolon so uh, like c code and other coding languages you terminate your statement by semicolon okay so the next i am defining another row vector say 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay it's so terminated and then just c is equal to a plus b and semicolon okay so just save the file you can see in the left corner there is this save option so to simulate this here you can see run option so run your script so you can see here the status is bc right now so the simulation is complete so you can see here there are this three row vectors in workspace so if you double click on c you 
you will see the variable c which has the value of additions from a and b okay so it's just a simple addition scripting so what if i want column vectors so all you have to do is just add apostrophe the sign so that you get the transpose of this row vectors and the transpose of this row vector will give you the column okay again if you run this and i'm naming this c as now d so the output will be written in d so run your script and you can see here since we had added this clear all command in our script there is no variable named as c which was previously there which was the output of row vectors additions so there is this d variable which will have same values of addition but it is a column vector okay so it's just a basic or simple matlab script file as we go further we will see how to write for loop if else loop and all the commands that a script file can use so that's all for this video and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching